Welcome to this video on transferring your Brightspace calculated grades to the final adjusted grade column once your course has been completed at the New Brunswick Community College. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside of the course that we want to transfer the grades for and then we're just going to go under the grades option here. And so once we're under the grades area we're just going to go under the enter grades area here where we see the spreadsheet. And so once our course is complete and we're ready to transfer our final calculated grade to the final adjusted grade column to help prepare for the transfer to Sims PeopleSoft, all we're going to do is we're going to scroll over to the very, very far right here and you're going to see the final calculated grade. So what we need to do is just move that grade over to the adjusted grade column. So that's step one. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to press the little icon here, the little downward arrow and we're going to choose enter grades. And so this is going to bring us into the final adjusted grade area here where we can see our calculated grade here. And so what we need to do is we need to move the grade from the calculated over to the adjusted column here. So there's two ways you can do that. The first way is you can click, there's a little arrow icon here to the side so you can select that for each one of the students to kind of move it over. The second option, and the easier option, is to do it all at once. And so how you would do that is, I'm just going to change my filtering to, for example, 200 per page, so that all students are showing here on one page in one screen. I'm going to go over, I'm going to select all the students on the list. And then once I do that, I can scroll up to where it says Final Grades here. I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to do transfer all. And when I press transfer all, it's going to transfer all of the grades from the calculated to the adjusted column. And then you're going to get a confirmation that um, basically it just says the action will transfer the grades over. Are you sure you want to continue and save all changes, including any other unsaved changes on this page? The action cannot be undone. So you're just going to say yes. And then you'll see here it's just transferred all the grades over. And so as the instructor, you can go through and make any adjustments. So for example, test student two here has an 83.666667. And so the grade scheme will automatically round that up to an 84. But if you want to move it up to an 84, you can just change that to an 84. Same with this one. We can move this one up to, for example, a 78 right here. And so for this test student, if, for example, this test student hasn't completed the course and they need to receive an incomplete. If a student needs to receive an incomplete, what you would do is you would give that student a score of one out of 100. So within the grade scheme that's selected, a 1% represents an incomplete. And so that's the option that you would choose here. Now something that's very, very important to mention is that once uh, the grades are processed and sent to SIMS, when the student completes this course, so if it takes you know, a couple months, three months, four months, maybe it's five months down the road, they complete the course and their final adjusted grade needs to be updated here. It's important to note that any grade that you update in here for this student will not be automatically transferred to SIMS. What you need to do is you need to complete a grade change request form for any student that needs their grade updated once the grades have officially been sent to SIMS. So that's for incomplete students or, or if you ever have another student that maybe their grade needs to be changed, you need to submit that grade change request form if it needs to be updated after um, you've submitted to the SIMS. The other thing I wanna mention is that if you are preparing your grades for transfer to SIMS, you are not recommended to make any changes to the final adjusted grade during the 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. time frame. So during that time frame, that's when um, the updates are happening between um, Sims and Brightspace. And so any change that you make in the final adjusted columns here between 11.30 a.m. and 1 p.m., um, when the grade gets sent over to, to, to Sims, it's gonna give, it's gonna give errors because uh, you made changes during that time frame. And so the last step here is these grades have not been released to my students yet. I waited till the end of the year to release them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the released option here. So what you can do is just select everyone's name, select the release unrelease here. So it's just going to check off everyone's name and then 
It's just simply a matter of pressing save and close. You'll get a confirmation window here. You're just gonna say yes. So now I'm just gonna scroll over to verify my final grade, my Jessica grades have been moved over and they have been released. And so now they're ready to be processed on the SIM side. So the next step would be to log in to your student self-service and uh, to upload the grades uh, to SIMS there. So this concludes the tutorial on transferring your Brightspace final calculated grades to the final adjusted grade column once your course has been completed at the New Brunswick Community College.